right, today we're doing a pulley swap on the mower so we can boost our top speed. First, we're gonna do a test run to get our baseline for top speed. Then we'll throw it up on the table, drop the rear axle, swap our pulley out, and go for a test drive and see what happens. So let's get into it. squeeze seven miles an hour out of this thing at full throttle and I'm pretty sure I can jog faster than that. So let's pull this rear axle and see if we can get the pulley off of there. The first thing I'm gonna do is set my parking brake and that'll relieve all the tension on the belt. The next thing I'm gonna do is screw a couple two by fours to my table in front and behind the front tires and that'll just keep it from rolling off the table while we're trying to work on the back side. Next thing I'm going to do is disconnect the linkage to my shifter right up there so we can drop the transmission out. We're just about ready to pull the rear axle out from under this. We have five bolts remaining that we need to get out before we can do that. There's two on the right side of the rear axle, two on the left side of the rear axle, and one hidden up front that attaches it to the frame rail. Everything's unbolted and unhooked except the spring on our brake lever. So I'm gonna get the forklift, lift up the body on the back end, and we should be able to just pull the axle right out from under it. Fingers crossed everything goes that easy, huh? There's our axle, free and clear. I just need to find some blocks to set up under the frame of our mower. And we'll get the axle out of there and start pulling the pulley, pulley, pulley. Well, we got our axle out of there. So I'm gonna clean it up with the wire brush and then I'll hit it with some spray grease and we'll let it sit overnight and break it free tomorrow. All right, just got back from Tractor Supply. Here's our old pulley. It's about nine inch diameter. And here is our new pulley. It's about three and a half inch diameter. This newer pulley is gonna turn about two and a half times as fast as our old pulley. 
So given our baseline of seven miles an hour, we should be able to hit about the 18 mile an hour mark now. The new pulley has to be welded onto a hub before we can go onto our rear axle. So I'm gonna get both of these surfaces cleaned up with a grinder and a Dremel, slap them together, put a bead on it, and we'll start going back together with this thing. Perfect. We got our pulley all welded up. I was using a 110 welder and I was focusing mainly on the hub side and then dragging the weld over to the pulley side. And this hub comes with two set screws, one on the key side and one on the shaft side. So we're gonna slide it down on there, tighten up both of our set screws and we should be able to put everything back together. Now we can just put our tiny little C-clip back on there. There we go. We're ready to go back into the mower. The only thing I didn't reconnect so far is our brake linkage right here. I'm going to try to find a way to make some sort of lever so I can have a hand actuated brake. Now we're going to see what kind of slack we have in our belt with the new pulley on there. My old belt's already pretty dry rotted and cracked so I'm gonna trim it down to the size I need and that way I can just take it in and line it up and make sure it's gonna be the right size start by just making a cut Well, we got our old belt off there, trimmed down to size, and now I'll be able to take it into the store and find something that matches, or at least close enough. When I get back, we'll throw the new belt on there, figure out our brake lever situation, and start heading out for a test drive. Exciting stuff. I'm gonna use the existing blade and gauge lever to run our brakes. So I'm gonna run a linkage from this bar over to our caliper, and when we push forward, we'll be able to engage the caliper, pull back, it'll go to resting position. To do that, I got a length of chain. I'm gonna put a bolt with washers and nuts on the brake caliper side, and there'll be a hook that I'll hook into this bar up here. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it this way, but it definitely works. Should be able to just push on that lever and get this thing to stop. I just got back from my third trip to Tractor Supply, and it should be the last one, but I got a half inch by 88 inch V-belt that's gonna go from our engine pulley to our rear axle pulley, and in the process, it'll weave through the clutch and an idler pulley. 
I have the clutch pulley off right now, so that I'll be able to get the belt on and off of there. And once I get the belt on, we'll put the clutch pulley back on, and everything should be ready for a test drive. Let's get started. Start by going around the shaft. We'll get one end in there. And that end we're gonna push up in this little gap until it hits our motor pulley. In the other end, we're just going to stuff down on the back side of the steering shaft. And we'll tuck it down into the bottom section. This piece right here is quarter inch by two inch flat bar, and I drilled four holes into it, used some existing frame rail holes, bolted that up. I have a pillow block bearing with a 5 8 shaft and one of the pulleys off of our mower deck. That is an idler pulley that's gonna help spread our belt out so we can go around that shaft right there. So we can get the belt up and over there. Get the belt up and around this shaft. So the next thing I need to do is get my clutch pulley mounted up right here and we'll be able to finish putting the belt on. Now we just gotta get the belt over the pulley on the back axle. And that should be it. Although you won't be able to see it, I found the easiest way to get the belt over the back pulley is to reach up from behind. All right, we got our belt fully installed. There it is on the engine. Comes through here. Goes around our idler pulley. To the clutch and to the back axle and it's hard to tell but there is a gap between that belt and that shaft and we'll see how long that lasts all right i think we're finally ready for a test drive I hit the 18 mile an hour mark like I had guessed, but we hit 16.1 and I think that's pretty reasonable for the $50 we spent on this part of the project. I got $30 in the pulley for the rear axle and I got $20 in a new belt. Outside of that, it was just a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, a little bit of scrap metal left over parts. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Well, that's not bad.